Okay, here we have another SAT algebra question. This time we have given this equation and we have to solve for x and we have all these possible answers. Let's do the SAT way first and that is just plug in a number and check. This way it's actually better in the sense that you are checking the answer, right? And in case if the equation turned out to be weird, like the quadratic or so, yeah, you can still figure out what the answer is. I kid you not, they really put 2x over x. Just go ahead and cancel them. I have no idea why. But anyway, here we go. Again, we'll just be checking the answer. So we are going to plug in 0 into all the x's. So when we do that, we get 0 over 0 minus 3. And again, you can always cancel that too first, right? I don't know why. Is this going to give us 0? Yes, it is. Because this is 0 over negative 3. When we have a 0 on the top of a fraction over a non-zero number, this will give us 0. So this right here checks. So now we know the answer must be either A or B because they were the only ones that have 0. So let's check 2. So if we have 2 over 2 minus 3, do we end up with 2 right here? Be really careful. This is 2 and this is negative 1, right? This is 2 over negative 1. This does not give us 2, so it's a no. So 2 does not work. So that's the, we know the answer is B already. Yeah, it has to be. But anyway, might as well just check. So 4 over 4 minus 3, do we end up with 4? You bet, because this is just 4 over 1, that is equal to 4, so works. So that is definitely correct. Now, let's do it the math way. So just in case, if you are taking an algebra class or so, the math way will help. Take a look right there. We have x over x minus 3, and this is seriously just equal to x. Just cancel the two. When we are solving a rational equation like this, you want to get rid of the denominator first. Here is the denominator, namely x minus 3. So what we are going to do is, we are going to just multiply both sides by the denominator. I'll put it here. So x minus 3, and then x minus 3. This way, this and that will cancel, and we just get x on the left-hand side. And then for the right-hand side, just distribute. So we get x squared minus 3x, all right? And now, when we're solving this kind of equation, we want to make one side equal to 0. It's easier to make this equal to 0. That's minus x on both sides like this. So they cancel, and we get 0, and that's equal to x squared minus 3x minus x, we get minus 4x. It looks kind of weird because there's no like another number, but this is still a quadratic equation. This is actually factorable as well. What we can do is we can just factor out an x, and then we will get just x here, and then minus 4. And let's put a 0 right here because we are more used to having 0 on the right hand side. Anyway, x times this is equal to 0, that means the first thing has to be 0, namely x has to be 0, or x minus 4 has to be 0. Usually, I don't like to put down or, I just like to put on comma, because just like depends on the people, what language that people like to use, like the official answer says and, but anyway, just put on comma, just to avoid any controversial, controversy, yeah, but anyway, this is x minus 4 is equal to 0. Just go ahead and add a little 4 on both sides. And you see x is equal to 4. Therefore, we have two answers, 0 and 4. So this is the typical algebra way that you should definitely know for your algebra class. But on the SAT, just plug in numbers and then figure out which number works. That's it.